uh, 10 strategies that was discussed in a previous best practices session um, for building a working data stewardship program. You know, first determining the need, the needed activities and responsibilities, determining the steward roles that are tied to these responsibilities. And part of that is it. We, in a separate session, we talked about the four types of data steward roles. There's really five. There's a bonus one there. Um, strategies for recruiting members to, to these roles, recruiting individuals to, to fill these steward roles. Um, strategies for training and building buy-in for those people. Um, providing support and oversight to those individuals in those roles. Uh, considering what their point of engagement is with this content at various points in time. Um, setting clear expectations for them for content creation and curation and how to do it and, and standards. Uh, empowering them with the ability to um, you know, make their own decisions and approve things and, and not have too much um, oversight and um, unnecessary review and approval. Uh, and then, you know, as you build your uh, your workflows and, and approval processes, think of them as, as how they can be sort of pragmatic and, and reasonable, which I think falls a little bit into empowering them. And then lastly, sort of setting expectations for their for their time and, and effort. 